Hey, everyone. Hello, hello. I have my kitty cat T2 here with me today. I have my cute little sidekick, my little office cat. <laughs> she wanted to come in and get in my way, so clearly I should almost be done with work here, but I want to go live real fast and talk to you guys. Um, I have another training tip. I know, another one. Imagine that. But this is actually something that happened today, and I was like, man, this is really pertinent information. So I know how that we talk about um, things like our why, our story. Maybe it's something with, um, oh, you're getting sassy. Look at your little tails getting sassy over here. <laughs> Um, we talk about our products. We talk about the things that are going on. Hey, Facebook user. I'm not sure who that is. Um, but hi, I'm glad you are on. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, there's, you know, we, we are talking about all of these things and we think that we're actually talking about them a lot. Um, depending on like, obviously if you are like posting and blasting something about like your products or that you can join my team, any of those types of weird things, um, not weird things, but you, when you're posting things like that, like every single day, okay. Yeah. Maybe you are talking way too much, but most of the time we aren't talking enough about, about our things. Oh, hi, Lauren. Okay. It did the thing where it like doesn't show your name. I don't know why. <laughs> but I wanted to let you guys know. So I had a, a perfect example of this today. And so I was talking about my hurt ankle. So I hurt my ankle last week. And in my stories, like I hadn't made a post about it. I don't think I did. Um, but I was posting about it in my stories. I was talking about it. Um, I was giving updates. Uh, like in my Facebook and Instagram, even on Snapchat, like I, I was talking about it almost every single day. I was talking about my ankle, how it was doing. Um, cause yeah, I twisted it in case you guys don't know. Uh oh, here we go. In case you guys don't know, I actually twisted my ankle last week and it's been a pain in the butt. Let me tell you, <laughs> uh, literally I am trying to just stay off it, rest it, do all the things. Have you heard me talk about my hurt ankle yet? Like I've been talking about it almost every single day. I think there's maybe one or two days in the last seven days that I might not, that I didn't post something about it in my stories. So today I get a message uh, from one of my friends and she checks my stuff all the time, all the time. Uh, hey, bunch, okay, we're getting a bunch of people over here on TikTok. If you guys are watching, post below. Let me know where you are come, tuning in from. I'd love to know where are you tuning in from? And I do have a point to this, I promise. Um, <laughs> so I've been talking about my ankle and my friend was like, oh my goodness, I had no idea. I'm so sorry that your ankle is hurt, blah, 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 blah. Like, I've been talking about it. Like almost every single day. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we think that we're talking, um, that we, you know, we're till we're blue in the face. We think that we're talking uh, too much. And actually, we're probably not really talking about all of the things that go along with our business enough. So if you guys have questions about this, if this, if you feel like you are talk about your, your products or your business or whatever things you do, pop it in the chat. Let me know that you, like, if you think that you talk way too much about it, if you don't think you talk enough about it, like, let me know where you guys are at with any of this. Because some of the important things is it's the importance that of like showing up daily. So on TikTok, posting about what you have to offer um, on TikTok daily. I mean, yeah, throwing in there too of things of like uh, maybe funny videos or even on Facebook, like making reels or other things that kind of talk about other things that you are um, passionate about. Like obviously you guys know I'm passionate about pets. I got my T2 here that is just being obnoxious. Sorry. <laughs> Um, but so we've got, you know, we think that we talk, sorry, she distracted me, but yeah. So like on TikTok or even on Facebook, like talking about all of the, there's so many different aspects to what we do. And so we really want you guys to be, um, the importance of showing up and getting loud. So even when you think you're being loud about a topic, I promise you, you are not being loud enough. 
So um, especially with all of my pet pros and things, I really want you guys to be getting into your stories, making TikToks, making Facebook Reels, all of these things, because just we need and we want to be helping more pets, right? That's what we want to do is we want to help out the pets here. And so by showing up, getting loud, getting consistent um, is really the is the best way to do that. So whether it's getting into your stories and um, making breakfast every day, like there's still going to be people like there. I mean, the algorithms are just so crazy where some people might see your stuff here on TikTok, but they wouldn't see something over on Facebook or Instagram or, you know, they maybe they check it one day, but they don't check it every single day. So they aren't seeing your stuff every single day. I don't know about you guys. Uh, definitely put up some pause if you guys are pretty consistent on like one platform. Like you're pre- you're kind of like a TikTok person. Maybe you are a, um, yeah, everybody that's watching over here, definitely um, give me a follow. Give me some love. Want to know that you are here and that you're liking this. Um, but yeah, like getting people to actually follow you on other platforms, whether it's Instagram or Facebook or those types of things. Um, those are going to be really, really great because you, what you post on TikTok might be different than what you're posting over on Instagram or Facebook. And so you really be able to get a blend of all of the different things. So, I mean, choose five topics or five things that you're kind of passionate about. Um, for me, I, pets, obviously, huge, huge, huge pet lover, all about the pets. And there's tons of things that I can do about that. Um, and it's in the realm of what I want to do. So um, business, I am a big entrepreneur at heart, never knew that until just a couple years ago. But I am I like I really like business. I really like um Game planning, do all those kinds of things. I love helping people. I'm a big, if you guys don't know the color personalities, I am, I really, I I love helping people. Like volunteering and helping people, doing all those types of things. That's what I really love to do. Um, Travel. Oh my goodness. Alex and I love to travel. If you guys have been following us, you know we're going somewhere all the time. We're doing something all the time. Maybe it's even just like a date night. Um, but we love to be doing things. And so there's a lot of times and a lot of ways that you can actually incorporate those types of things into uh, posts, um, into your business, or if you're, you, if you sell products, um, anything like that, you can tie things in. Um, it's it, like once you kind of get the groove of it, it becomes a lot easier. But I know that I talk about like pretty much every single day in my stories. I just feel like the stories, you know, they're up there for 24 hours and it's just a place where you can be talking more about maybe there's a sale going on. Maybe there is, um, because there's going to be different people who watch your stuff there. I can guarantee that everybody that's on here, I don't see your stories or I don't see your posts every single day. But if you're going to be, if you are friends with other people, like again, they aren't going to be seeing your stuff every single day. There's only a handful of people that if they post, do I really, really see their stuff like all the time. So you don't feel like you're going to be annoying. We want you to be posting about your business and about your products, but we also want to be posting things that are about you. We want to get to know you. So what are some of those things? And believe me, if you like, I really love lighthouses. And if I lived closer to a lighthouse, then I would probably be at a lighthouse all the time. And I would be posting the same lighthouse every single time, you know? Hi, Aunt Cindy. Hey, thanks for jumping on. Um, Or like we, you know, we play volleyball every Thursday. So if there's things that you do every week, like, no, you're not going to annoy people with like, hey, we're at volleyball again this week. It's just going to show people that you are an active person, that you, these are the things that you like to go do. So it really is just finding things that you're really passionate about and just be talking about them because, Like my friend Jennifer, oh my goodness, you know, she doesn't watch my stuff all the time, but she had no idea that I hurt my ankle. Like I'd been talking about it every day for a week and she still had no idea. So it just goes to show that there's so many times that you can be posting about something and you might think that you're talking about it so, so, so much. But when it comes to the reality of like what the algorithms are with the internet and all those types of things, most likely somebody's not going to see it. And it takes seven to 21 times of someone seeing the same thing. Like Alex and I saw it over here on TikTok with salmon oil. You guys, oh my goodness. Like how we like our first video that went viral last year, 
yeah, that was the first touch point. And then more and more people were like, wow, I saw this on TikTok. I need some of that salmon oil. Like they would go like we had, so Alex had a video that went viral last year and this year. And we have people that go to a vendor event in different states and they go, oh my goodness, I saw that on TikTok. I need some of that. And who knows how many touch points that finally was. If it was the fifth time, the sixth time, seventh time, who knows? But that's where it comes in to where just because somebody saw your story one time that there was a sale going on for one of your products or that there was something that could help a pet with something. Maybe it's a training topic, um, like if you train dogs or maybe it's a grooming tip. Uh, you never know. Like, sorry, I always do pet stuff because I'm in the pet space. But that is where it's like, you know, you could give the same grooming tip like every second week, like every like the first the first week of the month is, you know, you kind of give the same training tip. Maybe it's a little bit different each time, but you can still give the same grooming tip. Or maybe you're talking about different kinds of clippers that you use for dogs or different brushes that go with different uh, coat types. So, but if I didn't catch that live or if I didn't catch that in your story or I didn't catch that as a post, even though that's something I'm super interested in, it might take a couple of times before I actually see that. So again, I know there's so many times where we think we're talking about the same thing where, oh my goodness, but I've told, and like, I know I was listening to a Jesse Lee live and she was asking people like, who knows how much I needed to earn when I jumped into my business? A ton of no's came up. Like I know just because I've been following her for years now, but a ton of people that are her followers had no idea. And the amount of people that actually, knew, that's part of her story. And she talks about her story just about every single day. So it just goes to show that telling your story, talking about your products and talking about who you are, you cannot talk about those things enough, especially with the industry that we're in right now within the pet space. Oh my goodness, nobody's ever heard of us. And so it is just really, really um, goes to show, get loud people, get loud because We've got some pets' lives to change. So there's my tip for you guys today. Hope you have a wonderful night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.